Valentine's Day. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Hope everybody's having a good start to the week. Gonna be pretty laid back today. Um, camera decided it didn't want to work, so I'm just sitting in the dark. <laughs> gonna vibe we're just gonna vibe gonna hang out for a bit chit chat talk about the um the charity stream and then uh, a couple other things as well i didn't post a uh, thing in the discord Yeah, welcome in everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Rose, thank you so much for the three months. Minus 100 points. <laughs> thank you for the three months. Chalice, welcome on in. Good to see you. Yeah, we'll just do the, um, we'll just be Kirby today. We'll be Kirby today. I think if I hide this, it'll give us a, there we go. Oh, it's not a, just a black background there. Yeah, we're gonna chit chat a little bit about the um, the charity stream, kind of what my uh, my hope is for the next charity stream, because I feel like that's pretty important as well. Pretty important. Let me get this pulled up here, because unfortunately my OBS chat window is not as uh, in um, intuitive, I suppose is the right word, as the uh, oh or as the web page one, so I can't see like BTTV emotes and stuff like that. It's pretty pretty lame. <laughs> Pretty lame. But yeah, so uh, Charity Stream was a huge success for the folks that may not have seen it um, or may didn't, didn't have the time to tune in. We raised over $1,500 for Gamers Outreach. I think the final total was $1,560. And our goal was $1,500. So we did exceed our goal, which was really cool. Had a lot of fun Pokemon related content, a lot of challenge runs. It was a lot of fun. We also have a whole bunch of brand new content planned coming up in the next month or so. Uh, as there were milestones from the actual charity event, which includes a, uh, an Emerald Rogue live stream. We're going to have another co-op series here on YouTube, but this time it's going to be with Santana Banana. So for folks that are interested in that, we're going to be playing through a co-op game. We're actually trying to figure out dates and what exactly we're going to be playing, but we'll get that sorted out and get that started recording. Um, we also got a Chris any percent speed run day over on Twitch, which I'm not committing to a certain amount of hours just yet, because I'll be honest, the, um, well, I'll get to that in a minute, but anyway, so we'll have a Chris any percent speed run day. We're also going to have a, um, Pokemon Moemon stream, which means we're going to be playing the entirety of Pokemon, uh, either fire red or black and white. I haven't decided which yet. I think I'm leaning towards fire red though, because I think that would be a little bit more fun and a little bit quicker. Um, but I'm not I'm not set in stone yet on which one I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> it should be interesting regardless. I think people are gonna like that quite a bit. Um, essentially, it's just the same game, but they've replaced the sprites with like little anime girls, basically. So it's it seems pretty cute. It seems pretty fun. It doesn't seem like it's like overly, you know, thirsty just uh, gonna be a fun time so hope everybody's looking forward to that should be a good time as always with most of the vods ooh please hold Okay, I requested access. Okay. 
thanks for letting me know hopefully we get that because then that will also be added to our um our little repertoire <laughs> of content that we do um yeah no i appreciate it so as of with all the content that we do on twitch uh, if i think it's something that will translate pretty well to youtube we will put it over here on youtube um so of the things that i just said the emerald rogue stream will likely come to youtube just because all the other emerald rogue content is here on youtube as well the um chris any percent speed run day likely won't come to youtube um just because that's probably going to be a longer vod of me just like bashing my head against the speed run but we might not even pb that day if we pb obviously the pb will come to youtube um but i don't expect the actual full stream to go to youtube Ryan, good to see you welcome on in hope you're doing well happy tuesday um so the chris any percent speed run day i don't think is gonna i don't think it's gonna come to youtube we did get the lightning returns uh final fantasy 13 game added to the final fantasy marathon all of my final fantasy playthroughs that we do on twitch are going to come here to youtube so we'll have all that here on you on youtube for sure titty game i mean it's not a titty game lightning yeah yeah we're gonna be doing all three uh, final fantasy 13 games it's gonna be a lot of fun the but the pokemon moemon streams will absolutely be coming to uh to youtube I may do a, a highlight video for Pokemon Moemon as well, if I remember. If I have time is the real answer. Um, but yeah, so the Pokemon Moemon, um, no, 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 no to the game. <laughs> no to the game. <laughs> I mean, there are some sus models in the Moemon, but most of them are just cute they're just like you know wearing little like you know bear outfits and stuff like that it's nothing crazy <laughs> but yeah so the moemon streams will definitely be coming to youtube if i remember there'll be a highlight video for that as well so folks can just watch the highlights if they're prefer if they're interested more in like the highlights of that obviously our monthly highlights will also have the um clips from those streams so that'll still be on the on the calendar as well and uh yeah yeah so that'll all be here um but great success for the charity stream i'm already started planning out the um the charity stream for november which is going to be our next charity stream for extra life raising money for children's miracle network hospitals again um i want to try to do something a little bit different this time around versus the um the typical just play games wheel of games you know the stuff we have been doing but it's gonna involve getting some folks on board with it. So I'm, I'm already starting to draft up a message to start asking some folks if they're interested in planning things out with me. Cause obviously this is like seven months in advance at this point. So I think we should be able to get something working. Um, and then I also wanna start planning for Gamers for Giving next year because I would like to do something pretty big for Gamers for Giving next year. Um, maybe not quite as big as like renting out a, a suite at the at the actual site and getting content creators to fly out um <laughs> i appreciate it <laughs> i don't know why i gotta say it like that <laughs> um god <laughs> the um Yeah, so the, the plan that I have for Gamers for Giving next year, um, just to give you like a little bit of a, a preview, what I wanna do is I wanna make it like a week long set of streams. And I want to have four co-op stream days and three solo days is my hope. And I want the themes to be different for all seven days is my intent. So I'm hoping that what I can, what we can do is like find something with like four different creators obviously where i can actually at least four obviously if we end up finding a game or something that's, that's better for like four people we can we can get to that we'll go that route as well um but i'd like to try to do like a week-long event where we have like incentives and stuff and targets for each day kind of similar to how we did for this last one where we had like a target on both days if we raised that amount of money on that day we would add x or y right um and I want to try to make it like a big, big event if I can. Um, so I, I'm going to start planning for that too. 
But first things first, I want to get extra life settled. Make sure I've got my my affairs in order for that. Once I've got that set up, I'm going to start contacting some folks about uh, possibly doing some co-op stuff, maybe even some competitive stuff if we can if we can make it work. Um, but just some some things that I think folks would enjoy watching during the week with some like good incentives for each thing. I think it'd be a lot of fun. But yeah, so charity stream was a lot of fun for the folks that are watching this VOD. If you haven't had a chance to watch those charity streams, they are here on YouTube. If you're interested in checking them out, you can check them out and they'll be on the live section of our of our um, of our profile. We'll obviously also have a section of our um, highlight video that'll also have the charity highlights. Um, so we'll have some clips from that that'll have its own little segment for folks to watch. Um, I don't know that there's enough to separate it out like we did last year so likely it'll just be part of april's highlight video and just have its own segment but uh we'll see we'll see we haven't gone through the footage just yet because we've been kind of busy with other things with me trying to find a job and then all the final fantasy 7 rebirth content and the stuff i'm doing on youtube we just haven't had a chance to go through the, the vods just yet um but if we find enough content in there to to turn around and justify basically putting up a big like solo video that's just for the charity stream we'll do it um, but otherwise it'll just be part of the highlight video and that you'll at least have those highlights to check out uh first episode of transistor released last week we have the second episode released for members already but for the folks that are not members on the channel you'll be able to see this day two of transistor today at 4 p.m so if you're interested in checking that out which i highly recommend for what it's worth it's been a, it's been pretty interesting so far i've i've enjoyed the game and the plot is is interesting it's it's revealing itself slowly as we progress through the fights and i've enjoyed um the challenge to be honest there's been a couple of things where it's been a little bit harder than i anticipated it was going to be um so I've, I've been having a lot of fun with it so far it's been a lot of fun uh for final fantasy 7 rebirth we are just past day number five day five released yesterday uh, day number six will release tomorrow and if my memory serves me day number six is the last time we'll see two um parts so everything else will be one part let me welcome that in a wall um so tomorrow's rebirth video will be the last time we see something in two parts everything else is one part um it's gonna be Zelda, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's Zelda. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow's video releases in two parts. That means you'll have one video at 1 p.m. and then one video at 4 p.m. I believe tomorrow's videos are the um, Costa del Sol. So if you're interested in checking out my reaction to the Costa del Sol stuff in 4K, that releases tomorrow at 1 and 4 p.m. I did stop the one o'clock video when it was transitioning back to Aerith and Tifa. So I feel like that's a pretty good stopping point. And then the second video obviously starts with Aerith and Tifa and all the stuff that all the side quests they had to do and all that fun stuff. I've really enjoyed the um, the thumbnails for that, to be honest. I, I'm pretty happy with the thumbnails that we created for this series. It's been very, um, I don't know I, I guess clean is the right way to say it it's just been very clean I've, I've liked how the the qualities turned out for the thumbnails on these videos and some of the ones I like more than others but I don't think that's a that's a hindrance to the ones that I don't like as much I think the ones that I like that much are just really really good photos like I managed to get some really great screenshots while we were playing um, that were just like fans and, and for what it's worth all of the photos that I took or that are that are in the thumbnails every single one of those is from a screenshot that we took during our playthrough pulled directly from the PlayStation 5 at the highest quality that it allowed so yeah pretty satisfied with how those um thumbnails turned out obviously the content itself I did try to put chapters in so that folks could go through and find the thing that they were looking for specifically um most of the time i kept it to just chapters like and if it was just chapter based if i felt like there was something else i needed to add it's so like as an example in yesterday's video i put like when the parade was as its own chapter um if i felt like it had that kind of like if it, if it felt like i felt like if i needed it like to be like focused on that one area that i put an extra chapter in but most of the time i didn't um it's more of just a marker to show you where we're at 
in that video so that folks can know like hey this might spoil me hey i, I shouldn't do this or like i shouldn't watch this um so that way they're not getting spoiled unnecessarily here although at this point i feel pretty comfortable with just releasing the videos at this point we've been out for 45 days and i, I get the feeling that most of the videos that i'm releasing at this point are early enough in the game that i don't think we're going to be spoiling very many people and by the time our real spoiler heavy videos start releasing in mid to late may most folks that are worried about spoilers would likely have already finished the game by then i'm guessing um because by that point we'll be in mid to late like i said we'll be in mid to late may i imagine it'll be it'll have been like three months at that point since the game released most folks will have completed it by then so hopefully i don't spoil anybody unnecessarily i did try to keep the spoilers to a minimum when it came to like the thumbnails and stuff um with one exception to tomorrow's four o'clock p.m video um but mostly just because it was too good of a thumbnail to pass up <laughs> I, had to, I had to do it i had to do it um but yeah so that is the that's the a recap of all the stuff that we've had so far over the last couple weeks um we will not just so folks are aware we will not have a live stream on friday this coming friday here on youtube like we normally would we're gonna be streaming on twitch in the afternoon thanks chelsea i appreciate that i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie like this is exhausting <laughs> But I'm 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 glad that folks are enjoying it. I'm glad that people are are having fun with it, and I'm I'm glad to be able to see my playthrough back in 4K. You know, kind of selfishly, but it's nice to be able to like watch it on my big TV and like get the experience of like my first reactions on a big screen. Because when I play in OBS, I'm only playing in like a laptop window basically. So it's um it's definitely a better experience watching it on YouTube for me in particular in terms of the rest of the month um we have another members release video of transistor coming out on the 22nd which is next monday i think yeah next monday and then obviously the public release is always 48 hours after that so 24th will be the public release then we will be live again on youtube we'll uh we'll be live again on youtube on the 26th next friday with legend of Zelda the minish cap again <laughs> yeah i mean that was one of the one of the things where when i was making a lot of money i um i splurged because i wanted to to buy myself something for like all the stuff that we'd done up until that point and that tv was was pretty expensive but it was it was worth it was definitely worth the price for sure it was definitely worth the price um and then the last thing for the youtube folks outside of our every other day rebirth videos and the daily shorts um on the 30th will be the members release of uh transistor for day four so that's going to be the last thing for youtube that's like specifically youtube re uploaded related until may and then may obviously we'll have the april highlight video we'll have the finish of the, the completion of transistor we'll likely have completed uh minish cap in may as well and then we'll also have us going on to Castlevania for the YouTube live stream series, um, which is a donation incentive from at that point, at that point, it'll have been six months prior. Um, so I probably should have played Castlevania before Minish Cap, and that's on me because um, Castlevania is probably not going to be that long. But say la vie. We're, we're here now. We made the choice. It is what it is. And then, uh, yeah, that's kind of the game plan for the YouTube content. Obviously, with Twitch, there's a lot more stuff going on in terms of live stream content. But for YouTube, you'll have uploads basically every single day between the shorts and the um, the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth series getting uploaded. Once the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth series is done, the next series on the channel is going to be um, Santana Banana and I playing through Resident Evil 5. So if you're interested in checking that out, We'll have that live probably sometime late May, early June will be when it comes goes live. 
um it was a lot of fun we had we enjoyed ourselves it's going to be a vod series just like everything else with the vod series it's just going to be the full playthrough slightly edited took out breaks things like that but fairly simple overall nothing crazy it's a lot of fun though and then other than that i think that was everything i wanted to catch y'all up on in terms of the youtube content we're gonna be playing some minish cap today I almost started a YouTube intro. I forgot we're on YouTube. <laughs> we're going to be playing some Minish Cap today, though. Um, just a pretty chill stream, laid back. I don't actually remember where we left off in Minish Cap. Um, so we'll just have to pick up where we were and get to where we need to go, so to speak. But again, should be pretty laid back. Should be fun. We're just going to chill out have some fun today. If my switch will turn on. There you go. All right. Um, Game Boy Advance. Pring. What? Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot. All right. Let's see where we left off. Got a lot of hearts. Next element is near Lake Hylia. Now, how are we going to get there? Wonder who might be able to help us out with something like that. That's a great question. You should tell me. Um, moments. Boy, I've already... I've forgotten everything. <laughs> I've forgotten everything. Um, maybe we try talking to our dad. Hello? Hey Gary, you're looking so much tougher these days. Say, have you been to the library yet? I've heard some kids say that they've seen Picori there. Oh, that's right. We were, he said to go to the library, but the library is not open. A visitor, how rare. But you have found me, the wisest of the wisest of the wise. You what? You want to enter the temple you can see in the lake? They call that place the Temple of Droplets. I've heard rumors that one Minish actually did find a way in long ago. That Minish is Elder Library, and he is in semi-retirement in the town library. The library should be opening soon. Perhaps you can go find him. So the reason why we couldn't get into the library before is because we didn't actually talk to that person to allow us to get into the library, which is ridiculous, but it is what happened. So, so now the library should be open. And it is. I'm in charge of checking out books, so it's not my problem. Still, I feel really bad for the girl over there in charge of returns. Welcome to the library. Hey, aren't you Smith's grandson, Gary? Enjoy your browsing. Thanks. This week's top titles. Number three, learn to like your like-like. A good guide to a bad pet. Gorman's guide to good grub. Married to the Moblin. Okay. This week's top titles, that's the same thing. Wonder what I should check out today. Good question. We've torn these masks off before, right? Using the uh, gust jar. Was it not the gust jar? Did we just run into the... Um... Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, 
Are you calling Lundy a moblin? That's kind of fucked. <laughs> Damn. Whoa! Sometimes these books move on their own. I've seen it with my own two eyes. And don't tell me I'm crazy. I ain't crazy. Okay. Jesus. Moblin these rupees. Wow. <laughs> wow. You would never. Okay. <laughs> In we go. Seen the books move all by themselves. What up, homie? Hey, 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 this is no good, no good at all. The humans have checked some books out of the library. Thanks to them, none of us can get back to Elder Library. How will you get by all alone? I'm so worried. I'm sure the librarian knows something about where those books went. I wish I were big. Why, I'd walk right up and ask her where those books went. Okay. Up. We can't get up the shelf because some human checked that book out. At least we don't have to listen to Elder Library's boring old stories. Wow. That's a little, that's a little fucked, but that's okay. Okay. So now we're going to have to backtrack all the way back to the librarian. And ask her where the books went. Welcome to the library, okay? Oh, yes, they've been checked out for quite a while, and they're very overdue. Take a Hyrulean bestiary, for example, or bestiary. Been gone for ages. Checked out by a girl with a cat. She said she had a new cat at her house. Wanted to learn more about it, she did. Okay. That's so somebody in the town that has a cat. That narrows it down. Not you. Ah, uh, no thanks. the guy with the shells. We're not going to worry about that. That's the mayor. That's the hotel. house dear mom I'll be next door if you need me oh I see say look at that Gary there's a book on top of that bookcase how are we gonna get to it we can't reach it and we have no ladder I don't think shaking the bookcase will just make it fall either this presents an interesting problem when you say We just have to get small and go over. Huh? A book from the library? A Hyrulean bestiary, is that the one? Yeah, I checked it out a while ago. You came all the way to get all this way to get it? Wow, you're one dedicated librarian. But I don't know how to tell you this, but it's back in my house. Would you mind going there to get it? I just can't leave right now, see? I'd say the king's been weird lately. But that doesn't really have anything to do with our love. Okay. One track mind. Can I take can I put out the fire? Cause I feel like I need to go in there. Maybe I'm more than thinking of. Uh 
Uh, nope, not overthinking it. It's too hot. Our the fireplace is too hot. Now there are even more people in here, and it's getting too hot to bear. What would it take to cool this place down? Good question. Is it really gonna make me get a bottle of water? See that cat looking at me? I know it wants a piece of me. Wow, that really startled me. Everything's scary when you're small. Okay. Looks down. It seems fine, to be honest. I feel like you're just being a big old baby. This seems like a lot of unnecessary back and forth. I'm gonna keep it 100 with everybody. But, uh, you know. It's a little bit of backtracking. That person looks weird. Hey, look at that! Our long lost copy of the Hyrulean Bestiary. Gary, are you returning this book? Thank you so much. I can't begin to describe how much I'm looking forward to putting this back. Next overdue book is, let's see. Ah, yes, of course. Legend of the Picori. It's been out forever. It's checked out by a somewhat absent-minded scholar, I believe. Absent-minded scholar. Oh, that would be the guy that's, um... Back here, right? Gonna make herself small. Oh, jeez. Come on. And then I think it wasn't out here. Yeah. Maybe it'll just let me walk in normally now. Unless they expect me to, you know, put out the fire again, which it very well may. Let's try going in big. I love how they didn't even like, oops. They didn't even get these people's names. They're just like a somewhat absent-minded scholar. Like, okay. What, huh? A book from the library? Ah, yes, of course. I knew this day would come. Please come in. I'm a researcher of Picori legend and lore. My name is Dr. Left. You hear about that book, Legend of the Picori, aren't you? Well, I hate to say this, but I haven't seen it in several days. Perhaps a mischievous little mouse is taking it? Well, I'm sure it's in this house somewhere. I just don't know where. But I'm very busy right now, so why don't you just look for it yourself? Okay, but the issue is with that is that, um... I can't actually get that over too far enough. Maybe I can get up the, um... The chimney again? Hmm. 
Why would that matter? <laughs> like, why, why would I need to open up his drawer? Huh. I'm sure that's meaningful for some reason, but it's lost on me. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Let's try coming back in small. Should have refilled the water again, honestly. Like, it seems pretty likely that's gonna be a continuing theme here. And then let's see if we can go in the fireplace again. I've heard about you, so you're gonna go ahead, are you? Well, onward to glory then, just don't die out there, okay? Oof, no, that's no good. I just can't get anywhere, man oh man oh man. There'd be something like this behind one of the town's fountains. Well, let's get moving and see if we can find that item the Minish mentioned. Okay. Bracelets. You're filled with strength, even while tiny. Cool. Oh. Oops. Yeah, you made it. No way. I did. I did. I'm just built different. Sorry. Still purple, by the way. Oh, purple turning around. No. Okay. Now I can push this and this. Then leads me up here. Hey, look, the book. Hmm, I see. Oh, that makes sense. Human books are so interesting. And that guy, Dr. Left, living down there has great taste in reading material. A bit dusty up here, huh? Maybe I should do a little cleaning. Alright, don't worry, I got you. Huh. Yeah, I gotta say, I wasn't expecting this. Hey, you, 
I want to return this book by dropping it down below. It's impossible without some extra weight here. But my brother is so busy with the book of his own that he won't help me out. Maybe if I can do it if I try again. Okay. What do you think? I haven't either. <laughs> I see. I was overthinking it. What? I really thought that would be it. Huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I really thought that would be it. They didn't have to recover this. Maybe I'm supposed to push the candlesticks, not the boxes. Maybe. Maybe we're overthinking it and we did just have to stand on it. Yep. <laughs> Great. figures well the other way would have been more creative so we're smarter <laughs> dang it dude Thanks for nothing. Thanks for losing your library book, I guess.
Their copy of Legend of the Picari. It's been checked out for so long. Gary, you deserve a medal for all this. I am moved, deeply, deeply moved by this thoughtful gesture. And the last book we still need is A History of Mask. Yeah, it's the mayor. Thankfully, we already know how to do this one because we uh, tried to do it earlier. Ahem. Yes, that's me, Hagen. I'm the mayor of this town. Is that you want a book? A history of mask? And you say I checked it out, do you? Yes, indeed I did. Or wait, did I? Deck bag. I'll get it myself. I don't need you. I'm gonna break all your mask while I'm at it. Mayor took off for his cabin by the lake, clutching a book. We saw him go. But after the chest was open, the road diminished wood was blocked. You won't be able to get through. When the mayor came back, he didn't have that book anymore. I'm sure he just left it at his lakeside cabin. Wow. Wanna go to the cabin by the lake? Let me just mark it here on your map. Er, yes, there, it's right there. Should be able to find it now. Time to go side questing. and down. Hmm, likely. God, I love Zelda games so much, dude. They're so much fun. Boy, it sure would be a shame if somebody had some claws to dig through this hole. Oh no. Word of wisdom. If you can't solve a problem, just ram headlong into it. Bam! Ah, 
Uh, and this was the dust jar, right? Oh, the kinstone piece? What the fuck? Random ass bugs all of a sudden? Messed up? Okay. I just noticed there is a, um... I wouldn't be able to get to this though, because the... that, um, water makes me drown. In game. So, uh, there were so many doors that we could open with these mitts, by the way. I don't remember where any of them are. Do you remember that there was one over here? That's too much backtracking. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. Move on. By the way, for those interested or who care, uh, it is still hotter than hell in here. For some ungodly reason. Less so today than it was yesterday, but still warm. Yeah, the only way I'm going to find this stuff is if I actually, like, meander around and find it. I wonder where the last, um, Tingle Brother is, too. Ow. <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs> God. Just think of it this way. It just means he's going to have healthy skin, right? Right. There's your book. You know, Gary, you're now returned over all, all of our overdue books. Now I can finally get that bookshelf back in order. Hey, Sturgeon, books to shelves. Yes, yes, here I am. I'm here. I'll have these books put away lickety split. Whoa. The bookshelves are back in order. I feel so, so renewed. Enjoy your browsing. Thank you. Thank you. Boom. 
Visitor after so many long weeks. Even Jotari's been away so long, I've grown almost lonely. What? What is it? What do you need? Hmm? You want to visit the Temple of Droplets? Very well. You're the first such brave person in a long while. Stand on the clover in front of me. Alright, alright. You kids today. No patience for an old man. Well, just stand right there like I told you. Ho ho ho. Now, open secret panel! Oh, wasn't that fun? Now then, it's up to you to pass this trial safely and recover the item you require. Oh, what fun! I do love the real nitty-gritty of adventure. Wow. Ugh. Oh, wow. I just smacked my hip on something. Well, not my hip. My... whatever it is I have now. My brim? Whatever. That old fool must love sending people on dangerous missions. And how did that library get into the Temple of Droplets anyway? Guess the answer lies up ahead. Keep moving, boy. Probably should have captured that fairy. It's fine. Can't just pull him off, okay. I figured not, but like, may as well try, right? That was, um, that was tough. What a trial. You got the flippers. Press A to glide through the water and B to dive. Hmm, yes, yes, yes. Well, it all makes sense now, doesn't it, boy? Library used these flippers to swim to the entrance of the Temple of Droplets. So if you put these on, you should be able to swim too. Remarkable. Any secrets? Aha! I don't have any fire. Guess we end up getting a flame rod or something. Oh, interesting. We're going back because he had a, uh, a kinstone that we needed to, to fuse with him, so may as well head back that way. I didn't think he was going to drop me down a hole in my defense. So now we've gotten two new items. The flippers also give us a whole bunch of extra areas we can explore now. Oh, so you passed the trial and returned with Elder Library's flippers? Or Library's, Library's flippers. I'm so jealous. Not for much for exercise myself. If you're going on an adventure, there's no one better to learn from. Ah, that elder library. He's so manly, so brave, and so full of fire. Yeah, yeah. Got a few skin stones? Let's go. Uh, nope, this one. Wasn't even a good kin stone. Whatever, dude. No, oh, another gold enemy. Well done indeed. Why, you're almost surprised I was at that age. Oh, is that it? Okay. Hitched a buff. Alright, All right, bet. 
Bet, 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 bet. I will forget about that treasure chest that's locked with the uh, with the ice. By the way, mark my words. So we've got the flippers, which means we should be able to get into the next dungeon now. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything we want to do before we head that way. There were a lot of places that we could go with the flippers, but I'm tempted to just go to the dungeon and then go back to the um, the areas with the flippers later. And I think that's what I'm going to do. do now is get down there and then swim across. Ah, interesting. We can't actually get to that heart piece. You have to have one of the, like, these spots to get up on. Interesting. I imagine the small version of me still can't get... Oop, that's not what I meant to do. Don't touch me! I imagine when I'm small, I can't go through the deep water still. Can't get in here though. Okay. Oh, that just gets me into the dungeon. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm freezing in here. You don't find that element quickly. I'm going to turn into a hatsicle. Hurry up. All right. Oh, boy. What? This floor is made on ice. Careful not to fall and freeze your backside to the floor. All right. It's pretty quick. Looking at the sunlight like that, that makes me wonder. Yeah. Hey, the sunlight's shining through. Ah, it's so nice and warm. I can feel my start, start, self starting to frost again. Eat frost again. Yeah, yeet. Hmm, looks like something is frozen inside this block of ice. Gary, why don't you take a look? That's gonna make this pretty interesting. So I wonder if we were supposed to like, get sunlight onto that chest, but I'm not even sure how that would have happened. We'll have to wait and see. Take a look at the map really quick. Looks like it's three floors. This actually looks like it's gonna be a smaller dungeon.
make sure there's not something we have to unfreeze first, like that. Is that gonna hurt me? No. Okay, but that's not what I'm supposed to do. Got the big key already. That'll close the door upstairs so we can actually get back across. Well done, Gary. This looks like this looks to be the element, all right. But what will we do? We can't even touch it while it's trapped in that ice. We need to melt it off somehow. Yeah, I wonder if it's those two really large levers. Falls from the ceiling. I see. This just pushes the block, right? There's nothing actually up here. Yeah. Actually, it's faster to just go on the waterfall. The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. Nice. 
Boom! Let me in. Anybody ready to take a lily pad off a waterfall? At least I don't have to worry about falling off now. It's kind of nice. Oh, jeez. This is the right way. Gary, where are you? Are you still there under me? It's so dark, I can't see my beak in front of my face. Watch your step. I don't want you to trip over anything. Okay. More of these things, huh? Right. Well, the boomerang's just really good, huh?
Of course, sunlight. Once we get some sunlight in and melt the ice, the element will be as good as ours. Yeah, and so will that thing that's sitting there all frozen. Kinstone piece. Noting that we have not gotten the um, weapon for this area yet. Ah, shit. Probably just gonna be rupees, but like. Another pinstone piece. Definitely wants me to take a leap of faith here. I'm gonna go down the stairs first. Was not a leap of faith. All this for a key. Kind of look like a cursed Pokemon, yeah. A little bit.
Really? Still alive? Get out of here, dude. Sheesh. I got a lantern. Sheesh. <laughs> Hundred rupees that I don't need, let's go. that right now thanks there we go Sheesh. one of these fuckers better drop a heart I swear to heck Give me a heart, huh? As well, let's see what's in here. Oh, 
Another Kenstone piece. We got enough. Shit. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. top one down the middle and I assume I just stand on the other one then because there's only three blocks It's not like I can slide that one up, right? It's already on the bottom. Let's try moving these blocks really quick and see what they have underneath them. Nothing? I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. This is gonna be tough. With the sliding, this is gonna suck. Oh, 
Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty tough. This one should be easier. Ow. How come he can hit me, but I can't walk through there? Let's go back to the entrance really quick just to heal up. Do this a couple times here. Easy, right? Surely nothing will suck it up. We did it, Gary. Now we can take the element. That was a lot of trouble, but we finally did it, and... What in the blazes? Hey, something's not right here. Who could have seen this coming? What? What's this? That stupid Octorok stole our element. Don't just stand there. We've got to go get it, Gary, now. 
All right, all right, calm down. We're going. What up, homie? I just have to set it on, I just have to set it on fire. Okay. Probably gonna die here, honestly.
That should have counted. It still hit him. Just because I didn't hit it. Are you kidding, game? Come on. Oh my god. I don't have any fairies or anything, I just have water, so. Oh my god, I didn't have the fucking sword on. Stupid ass bubble. I guess. Is it dead? Thank god. Woo, that was close. You got the water element. Water quenches thirst and drought and nourishes life. The water element is the embodiment of that power. And that's a heart piece. Hog. That was a little close, yeah. Just a little close. Ugh, I almost throw my beak off in there. What? what? <laughs> oh, young one. Child who seeks the aid, the princess of Hyrule. My name is Gustav. I was king of Hyrule countless ages ago. Stand before me. Only then will the path open to you. Huh, was that just a dream? He said he was a king of Hyrule. Wait, look at your map, Gary. There's some kind of mark on it. Hmm, I guess it means it wasn't a dream. We should head there once we've infused your sword with that element. To the Elemental Sanctuary. Implying I remember where that is, I don't. Elemental Sanctuary. Was it inside the, um, the Minish area? I don't remember. Looking through the VOD to see where we got it before. Hyrule Castle.
down here. Oh, that's right. I needed the, um, okay. I can do this now. You are in the presence of a true master swordsman of Hyrule Grimblade. You train with me, you'll become a true master swordsman. So would you like to train here? Yes. You will learn the meaning of power with this technique, the sword beam. First, when your hearts are full. Second, swing your mighty sword. That's really all there is to it. Yes. Well, this is the only beginning. Now comes the real thing. One must feel the technique. Here we go. That's my body. Position. Whee. Whew. Now you must try it yourself. Done. Nice. It's our fourth technique. That's right, they weren't evil last time. Hey. What? How did he see me? I was already past him. annoying. Right, may as well be Navi.
dead. Okay. The power of water element has been infused into your blade. The power of this element allows you to split into three copies. And it's a blue blood sword now. Blue, blue, blue. down here again? Oh, fairies, right. That's right. I made a shortcut. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Coward. Um. I can't believe we're almost done with the game. Like, it's just one more dungeon, one more item. Then we're done. Likely that's going to be where the last dungeon is, or this is probably where they're I mean, one of the two, obviously, right? Um. Hmm. Interesting. Well, this is what we're going to call it for today, folks. A little bit shorter than our YouTube stream usually is, but I got some stuff to do today. So I got to get some I got to get some movement done. I appreciate y'all being here. Hope y'all enjoyed. Lots of progress. Yeah, we got another element. We got our sword upgraded. We did really good. Did really good. But yeah, thanks for being here, everybody. Hope everybody has a great rest of your day. We don't have a, we don't have a video or anything to, to raid out to or go out to, rather. Um, just a reminder, the transistor video does go live today at 4 p.m. Eastern. If you're interested in checking that out, it'll be right here on the YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. If you're watching the VOD, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap series. Looks like we probably got about two more streams of this left, uh, which means in May we'll be off to Castlevania. So hope everybody's looking forward to that. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, we'll see you again in the next one. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.